Hey guys, this is Aaron Linson with Linson Productions and we're going to look at the Google Play Store and how to activate apps using TalkBack. So, I'm actually going to find the Google Play Store with my Play Store finger. I can go ahead and double tap that if I want or I could use OK Google to find it. But I'm not going to since I already found it. I'm going to sit. I'm going to just double tap that. Top charts. And now we're in Google Play. I've found that it is always going to Talkback. That is is always going to be on top charts. It's not going to go to the top of the menu. What which is called a hamburger menu to start you off with. You can swipe left voice search search show navigation drawer a few times to find that if you want to say update your apps or search but you can also again do this by explore by touch and usually for the most part in most of the cases it's always going to be show navigation drawer on the top left you open that navigation drawer and you have a couple options. If you have more than one account set up on your phone like I do, you can switch between Let's those. So right now we're in my main account. Switch account to Linson Productions LLC at gmail.com. And then that is my business account. Linson Productions, blind week one nine eight nine at gmail.com. Show That's account the list. Email address that I have assigned to the my personal account. Apps and games. And so we have apps and games swiping to the right. My apps and games. My apps and games. This is where your purchased history lives. And you can also update any apps that you would have. Movies, music, books. And you can go through and look for movies, music, and books. Movies and TV. Movies and TV. Music. Music. Books. Books. Newsstand. Newsstand. Account. Which are uh, newspapers. Reading. Account. Reading. Redeem. So if you have a code for an app, you can do that here. Wishlist. Wishlist. Settings. Settings. Help and feedback. Help and feedback. Parent guide. Parent guide. About Google Play. And about Google Play. Redeem. I'm going to go back up to the top. And how I did that was I took two fingers and swiped down to get back up to the top. My apps and games. There's my apps and games. I'm going to double tap that. My apps and games. And usually you will have a couple apps throughout the day that can auto update. Sometimes you have to go in and update these yourself. Updates. So let's swipe to the right. Installed. Library. Installed are the apps that I have installed. Library is a list of apps that I have. Beta. And then beta are apps that I am in beta programs for. Updates pending open per two close per n. Auto dash update is turned on. So I have two updates pending update. If I leave these alone, these will actually auto update themselves. Update all. But if I want to go ahead and update them now, I can just double tap that button, which I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and double tap it. Sometimes you will come up with screens like this that give you that you have to give permission to allow these apps to update. Large app download. App one of one. Audio game hub is very large. High data charges might apply. Do you still want to continue? Consider skipping this app and continuing later on Weed-V. And it's basically telling me that this game update is very, very large and that I might want to continue to do it over Wi-Fi so I don't get charged by my carrier if I have a data limit, which I don't have. I have unlimited data, so I'm not really worried about that. Skip. Continue. So I can skip it if I want, but I want to continue that, so I'm going to go ahead and double tap that. And now... Updates pending open per one close per n. Auto dash update is turned on. The app is updating. It went ahead and automatically updated audio app game. Home. Screen reader. Updated zero minutes. Recently updated open per nine close per Because that was the biggest app. App colon audio game hub. 42.75 megabytes slash 116 megabytes. 36 percent. Or it's updating, so that's exactly what it's doing. App colon. So I swiped up and to the left to go home. That is another gesture, advanced gesture, that again, we'll go over in a later video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little quick tutorial on the Google Play Store.
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.